Hey guys, it's Candace with a new episode of Too Fab or Too Drab, helping us break down the best and worst in fashion are TMZ's Danica Kennedy and Van Lathan. Hey guys. Hey, what's up guys? Are you ready to see all of the looks? I am. So ready. I'm overly ready. Okay, we're gonna get started with Red Carpet Roundup. So for Red Carpet Roundup, I'll show you some looks from the week, and you vote Fab or Drab in a short phrase about why. Sweet. So first up, we have Christina Aguilera. She's at The Voice. She's wearing a CD green dress and an Iroh jacket. Too drab. Mm. It's prom season. Drab, drab, drab. I hate this outfit. It looks like Miss Orange County like left the pageant to smoke a cigarette in the back in her boyfriend's jacket. Mm. I say it's fab. She's got some nice cleavage going on. She's got the little jacket. I feel like that's tasteful. The hair is all funky. She looks great. I disagree with you, ladies. Okay, so now we have Ariana Grande. She's at the Time 100 Gala. She's wearing Christian Siriano. This is a too drab. She she always, to me, looks like she's playing dress up in her mom's closet. I'm going too fab on this one. Usually I can't stand her, but I absolutely love this outfit. Can you be in the middle? Because here's the thing, she looks adorable, uh, especially if she were like nine. But then the more I look at it, the drabness creeps in <laughs> to my brain. So now we have Caitlyn Jenner. She's at the Time 100 Gala. She's wearing Kiara Bonnie. Too fab. I don't think there's anything wrong with the dress. I'm slightly bored, but I mean, what do you, we expect? She's 65. She's not gonna wear like something crazy. I'm going too fab on this one. It reminds me of Lady Gaga at the Oscars. It looks great. The dress looks fine. It's done. No more Caitlyn. Drab for forever. Caitlin. Every time you put it up, it's drab. It's drab forever. Okay, so now we have Melissa McCarthy. She's at the Time 100 Gala. She's wearing a custom look by her stylist. This is a too fab. I think this, keeping it simple, is perfect for her. I'm going too fab on this as well. It's a little office mom, but it's good for her. I've definitely seen her dress worse on the carpet. I'm going too fab as well. She looks completely appropriate and beautiful. I love everything about it. Okay, so now we have Elizabeth Olsen. She's at the Captain America Civil War premiere. She's wearing Alexander McQueen. I mean, too fab. Yeah. This is so hot. Wow. but still classy. I absolutely love this. Too fab all the way. I think she's totally rocking it. I don't think I could pull something off that bunches in the stomach like that, but she looks amazing. Yeah, I'm going fab as well. Uh, she looks great. Who she play in the Captain America movie? Can either one of you guys name the character? Psst, Scarlet Witch, wow. <laughs> okay, so now it's time for What the Fug. I'm sure. going to show you some of the worst looks from the week, but you have to guess who the celebrity is. Sweet. Uh, so this is sad because she is usually so well dressed. Kerry Washington. Yes. Yeah. Don't play. Wow. This, don't play this game with me. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be embarrassing. Like, like yes, yeah, Kerry Washington. That face is so pretty and the hair, but the dress is like, what are you doing with your life? I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I agree. Distracting. I, I've never seen it look this bad. I'm sorry, I love you, Carrie, but it's, just, it's weird. She's a singer and a dancer. I mean, as you can tell by her legs. She was huge in the 80s. Hmm. Paula Abdul. Yes. You're Damn, so good. You're so quick. Yeah. <laughs> she looks great. Her body is sick, but. Outfit, not so much. It's just. What the hell is going on? And the little medallion necklace, I just want to yeah. rip it off. Yeah. You know, she came along in the 80s when it was the Wild West out here in LA. You wouldn't expect her to look, still look this good. She looks really, really great as far as her body and her skin looks amazing and stuff like that. But she went daring and then conservative and half-assed, you always lose, so. It's too much with all those accessories too. I want to take them off. It's just take true. out the hoops, the necklace. Might be a little better, but. Okay, so this star is an actress. She was on a very, very popular show in the late 90s. That's it. So I, um, a, this, okay. Uh, no, that's not it. I have one oh, more if you need oh, it. Oh, I was with yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to need it, yeah. She was in one of the most infamous marriages in Hollywood. Ooh, ooh, like that's, uh, that's Katie Holmes. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. This pajama trend, I've been seeing a lot of this recently, and it really just needs to stop. You don't like it. It's horrible, especially yeah, on red carpets. Like maybe if you're grocery shopping or something. Here's the thing, her career has somewhat rebounded. I saw her on the show, she's doing some more stuff. But the one thing that never came back after Tom Cruise snatched her brain out of her head <laughs> was her style. Okay, so now it's time for street style. So I'm gonna show you some photos of off-duty celebrities and you can vote Fab or Drab in a short phrase about why. We have Kim Kardashian. 
and she is out in Miami. And this for me is just such a two fab. This post baby bod is unbelievable. I'm going to drab on this one. I think Kanye has taken over her <laughs> closet too much and it's too much nude going on. Like, is she even wearing shoes? You can't even tell. It looks like she's barefoot. Dan will disagree, but let's yeah. see. It's basically the fabulous thing that I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, I like everything about it. I like the fact that this is Kim's image. This is who she is. She puts it all out there for you like an elegant type of ratchet. So now we have Kelly Ripa and she is out in New York City. We really could not stop talking about her this week, okay. but good for her. It's a two fab. Yeah. I mean, she always looks amazing in that body. I'm going too fab as well. I think the dress and the shoes look adorable together. I'm not crazy about the glasses and the purse with the outfit, but those are kind of accessories you throw with any outfit, so. Yeah, I'm going fab as well. She's looking good with her mad ass. She's probably so angry. <laughs> now we have Black China, and she's out in LA. And this is a two drab. She's really trying to be a Kardashian here. Ugh, I'm going to drab as well. I'm really distracted in anything she wears though, because all I can look at is her butt. And her butt isn't even in this photo, but I'm still like staring at it. And you know what I mean. I have to go fab. I, I, yeah, I have to go fab because this is the look that I see so much with the non-famous ladies around LA and back where I'm from and stuff like that. I'm not saying that she looks great here, but I'm saying if this look can save a grown man's life, then it's gotta be fab. Okay, so our musty look of the week is Nicki Minaj at the Time 100 Gala wearing Givenchy. It's drab and I would never have thought that this was Givenchy in a million years. This literally looks like she just bought a body stocking and then sliced up her dress with scissors. I'm going to drop on this as well. I do love her makeup, I have to say, and I usually love black lace, but it's too much and too little at the same time. I think it looks like it belongs in Moulin Rouge or Cabaret or some like costume Halloween thing. Nikki's look better than this is the thing. She's trying to be a little bit more out there, but at the same time, uh, be appropriate for this event because it was a really big deal that she was a part of this whole thing, but she missed. She could have gone simple and elegant and it would have worked here and it would have showed some growth and maturity from her, but she, she tried for something that didn't quite work. Thank you so much for joining us, guys. Thanks yeah. for having us. And that was this week's edition of Two Fab or Two Drab, and let us know what you think of our picks in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.